Thank you so much, Dr. Malhotra, for joining us for National IVF Summit and Awards 2024, hosted by Voice of Healthcare and Indian Fertility Society. So, what are your views about today's uh, event? So, I'm really pleased to be here. It's a fantastic event. I mean, such events should be held to discuss uh, issues which are so important uh, for the patient, for the policy makers, for the doctors, for the clinics, to formulate a way forward to this IVF because IVF now is going to increase and there is a law so we need to discuss how best we can do for the best to the patient so that is what is required thank you for that view sir sir also we were discussing about AI inside the in, on, uh, on the panel discussion so how do you think AI can help in or contribute in the medical sector or especially about the IVF treatments so there is a digital revolution we all know that Instagram Facebook Twitter, X, all that. And now comes chatbot and AI. AI means artificial intelligence. It is not human intelligence. It is artificial. You have to remember it's still artificial. No AI will ever replace the human brain. But it will provide you a guideline on how to go through it. So the patient can access chatbot and ask what is the infertility problem. They can talk to that chatbox lady who handles IVF counseling and she is if you try that on AI I want counseling for my infertility problem you see how emotionally they talk back to you so as good as a human being now that is where the doctor's job will make made easier we have a whole lot of patients we don't have time we give only two minutes to a patient to listen so there you can talk to this artificial robo and a nice looking lady in a nice office and in a human voice in your voice and answer all the queries which you tell them to answer so it's it's like what is you have fed you feed in what and you get you feed in garbage you'll get out garbage that's what the computer thinks so AI will help firstly in counseling talking to the patient letting them select the best place and in the IVF laboratory the AI can be put on the incubators so they can watch the embryo growing and then watch which is the best embryo tell you this is the best and likely to get uh, we can do a 3D ultrasound of the uterus and put it in AI. So it will tell you the maximum point of implantation and where you have to should place the embryo. So sperm selection, ICSI, egg selection, embryo selection, embryo transfers, all that can be AI guided. But it is still the human touch which is required to put it back. So the very good clinics, yes, will get an additional counseling benefit. The average clinics will tend to improve to very good if they take uh, learn AI and we all need to be very very AI friendly as but please remember it is not always correct because it's a data from everywhere and attack you get it in one minute so you still have to use your brain to see if the data what you want is correct or not so be a AI uh, literate which I want to tell every doctor and that will help you in a great way and help help your results also Thank you so much for your views, sir, and thank you so much for coming to this event, and it's a pleasure to have you. My pleasure, my pleasure. All the best. Uh, please go on having such meetings on uh, IVF, on other topics, so that a lot of awareness can be spread. Thank you.